We are hearing more of chilling 911 calls just released after a deadly home invasion in Fort Bend County. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers live off of Glen Rosa Drive and Cansfield Way. And Brittany, these home invaders are still on the run, we understand. Uh, Dominique, this case has been both tragic and puzzling for everyone who's been involved in this. And tonight, of course, the investigators are still hard at work, still trying to find the gunman. Atlanta, we got EMS and police on the way. This home along Glen Rosa Drive turned into a murder crime scene after a heartbreaking call to 911. Help me, please, oh. On the other end of the line, a young mother's chilling plea for help. I'm so scared. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do. Nope, it's fine. Hold on. Oh, my God. I think it's really hurt. After her husband was gunned down inside of the family's Katie home. Baby, are you okay? Okay? Fort Bend County Sheriff's investigators say two intruders broke into the home. 29 year old Brent Nestorf was shot and killed while trying to protect his wife and two young children. His wife, Angelina, explains to the dispatcher the horror that played out around midnight. Did they break in or did they shoot through the window or? I don't know. I okay. just heard glass shattering and then my husband jumped up and took off after him and they just. Okay. <laughs> Detectives say the intruders didn't take anything and they didn't harm anyone else. On Friday, detectives released surveillance video of a vehicle of interest seen driving in and out of the neighborhood around the time of the shooting. Sheriff Troy Nell says a team of investigators is trying to find the men responsible. You came into the wrong county. Came into the wrong county. Now we know that Crime Stoppers is offering up to $25,000 for any information that leads to an arrest in this case. Again, detectives are still trying to locate this vehicle of interest. It's described as a light colored sedan, four door sedan with a sunroof. Reporting live here in Fort Bend County, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brittany.